Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use chorus and flange effects in Reaper. Now, the idea of chorus is to make something sound bigger, make it sound wider by adding a delay that's modulating along with the original sound or source. Whereas a flange is more of a special effect, as you'll hear. So, I have a few pieces of audio here that we can use for examples to test out chorus and flanging. I have a few guitars and a vocal. So let's add an effect and let's start with chorus. Go right here to add the effect on the track. And I'm going to go down here to the Reaper effects and we're going to choose Read Delay, which is the delay that comes with Reaper. And it looks like this. Let's adjust the delay time. Let's turn off the musical notes and adjust the milliseconds just to make sure we hear it. Right now it's set to a slap delay at about 110 milliseconds. For chorus effects, we need to be between about 20 to 40 milliseconds. But we also need to modulate it or vary it over time. Which if you notice in this plugin, it doesn't seem possible. There's no modulation of the delay length. But we can create that ourselves using parameter modulation. So we want to modulate this parameter right here, the delay length. So let's set this to zero. Just touch it so it's the last touch parameter. Go to the parameter menu. See it says last touched length. And go down here and choose parameter modulation. And this opens up this where we can modulate based on different things. Audio, using an LFO, or linking it from another parameter. We're going to choose LFO. And right away we can see that the delay time is modulating or it's changing. Let's set the speed to zero and the strength to zero. And let's readjust the baseline. So this value over here starts at 30 milliseconds. Now, if we move this, it's a very coarse adjustment. So it's kind of hard to get that low, 20 to 30 milliseconds. But we could do fine tuning in Reaper by holding down control on the PC or command on the Mac. And then moving it, we can go to 10, 20, or 30. Just like that. So now we're starting at 30 milliseconds. We could adjust the direction of the modulation down over here to centered. So it's going to move down and up. Then we could adjust the strength, which is how far it's going to move. And again, if we move it, it's a very coarse adjustment. So it goes very far. See how high it goes? So we'll use the fine adjustment in Reaper. Let's put it at 0.1. Let's bring up the speed. Notice it's moving very slightly from about 25 milliseconds to 35 milliseconds, or it's modulating. And how fast it goes is based on the speed. So let's hear it now and adjust the wet versus dry to decide how loud the effect is. I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. And that's a chorus effect. We can make it more intense by bringing up the feedback, which is going to regenerate the delay over and over again. We can readjust our speed to be slower or faster. What we could also do is make the effect stereo. 
we can create a stereo chorus by adding another tap or delay, which is going to duplicate tap one to tap two. Let's go to tap one and pan it left. Tap two will pan right, and then we'll modulate the delay time for tap two. Just select it, go to parameter modulation, choose LFO, and again, set it to centered, turn the speed down and the strength. Let's bring this up to 20 milliseconds instead of 30, which will create that stereo effect. 20 milliseconds, bring the strength up to 0.1, and bring the speed up to about the same, but not exactly the same. So we should have a stereo chorus. I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm. So that's a chorus effect. Now to create flange, it's very similar, except the delay time is a bit shorter. So let's delete. Tap 2. Let's reset this with the speed and strength. Let's bring this down to zero. So it's now zero milliseconds. Put it back in the middle. Let's bring the feedback down. And now it's modulated starting at zero milliseconds. So for this, the direction will be positive. So it goes from zero on up. We'll make the strength about the same, 0.1, and the speed. So if you look right here, it goes from zero up to 10 milliseconds. And let's see what that sounds like. Notice how it's more of a swirling effect. Let's bring the feedback up so it's more obvious. And again, we can make this stereo by adding another tap or delay. Pan this one right. The first one left, and doing the same thing with this one. Modulating it, LFO, bring this all the way down, keep it positive, speed, and the strength. Let's make the strength even smaller. And we'll type it in 0 0.05, bring up the speed, and let's hear that. I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. And that's a flanger. Now, so far, we've just used one plugin to create these two effects, but there are also some JS plugins that are dedicated to chorus and flanger. So if we clear this, Go to the JS plugins right here, type in chorus. You find some similar ones right here. Let's hear this one. Well, one of my favorites is right down here the Azafire chorus, which creates a very stereo effect. There's also a flanger right here. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. I think you get the idea. That's chorus and flange effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you could use it. 
and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!